I have a couple of smart sisters in the house tonight. Uh, Tara Collins sitting right there in the hot seat, just graduated from Howard University, BS in biology, wants to be a neuropsychiatrist, uh, and her sister Nikita uh, is a teacher at uh, North Carolina State, huh? Nikita, yes. what do you teach? Algebra. Algebra? Yes. Huh? So your mother must be quite happy with the two of you, huh? Yes. <laughs> Although you do cause her a little aggravation every now and then. Little <laughs> practical jokes you play, little things that you do that she doesn't approve of, really. Like what, Tara? Um, my sister and I went skydiving last year. Skydiving? Yeah, and we decided not to call our mother until we were on the way to the skydiving place. And then we left a message, like, Ma, we're going skydiving. Um, hopefully we'll be okay. We'll call you later. <laughs> so, uh, you couldn't call her on the way back after you finished it, huh? Well, we called her on the way. She threatened, so we had to call her on the way back. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't pleased with the message. Uh, how was that skydiving? Oh, it was great. Yeah? yeah? Want to do it again? Yeah. Wow, that's really something. Well, look, um, and you'd like to get this money done, right? Because we got to go to med school with this money. Yeah. Yeah, all right, fine. So, you, look, here's where you are. You've won $2,000. You've got two lifelines left. Nine questions away from $2,090,000. It'd be nice to win all that. But you're going for $4,000. let us play right now. $4,000, Tara. By definition, a talisman is which of the following? Palace guard. Extinct bird, good luck charm, plumber's tool. Good luck charm. Final. Yes. That's what it is, a good luck charm. One four thousand. She's up to eight thousand now. Before he found stardom on the big screen, a young Johnny Depp played a cop on what TV show? Twenty one Jump Street, Hill Street Blues, Cagney and Lacey. T.J. Hooker. 21 Jump Street, final answer. Yes, Johnny Depp was on 21 Jump Street. What do you think we need for med school? About $100,000. All right, let's go for it. Up to 16, coming up. The line of fortifications constructed in 1929 to protect France from invasion was named for whom? Alphonse Bertillon, Samuel D. Champlain, Georges Clamasso, Andre Maginot. Andre Maginot. Final. Yes. Yes, the Maginot line. <laughs> Let's get up there and get that 32,000 locked up, Tara. In the 1994 bestseller, The Alienist, what is the title character's occupation? CIA agent, psychologist, astronomer, Coroner. Okay, I do not know. I want to call a friend. Got somebody on your uh, list who's a. Uh, yeah, reader. I want to call Sam. Who? My friend Sam. Sam, all right. Let's get Sam on the line, AT&T. We need his help. Hello? Sam? Hi, who's speaking? Yeah, Regis Philbin calling from New York. How are you? Great, how are you? I'm here with Tara Cooper, and she's looking for some help. Great. She's going for $32,000, Sam, and she's going to give you the question and four possible answers, okay? I hope I can help her. Well, we hope so, too. 30 seconds, Tara, starting right now. Okay, what's the title character's occupation in The Alienist? CIA agent, astronomer, psychologist, or coroner? I believe he is a psychologist. I'm about 75%. Okay, that's good enough for me. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Sam. Okay, I'll go with psychologist, final answer. Sam was right for $32,000. All right, 30, well, one third of the way there for that 100000 for med school, Tara. Now we're going for 64000 and she's just five away, and she's got one lifeline left. Here it is. Inspired by a Beatles song, what name was given to a three million year old skeleton found in 1974? Lucy, Michelle, Jude, Eleanor. Let's see. I know Lucy was found, but was that 1974? Well, I guess it won't hurt to guess now. 
I'll go with Lucy. Lucy, yes. final answer. Yes. Yes for sixty-four thousand dollars. We keep going. Take a look at this for one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. How long was the infamous unexplained gap on one of Richard Nixon's White House tapes? Was it twenty-two and a half minutes? Sixteen and a half minutes? Eighteen and a half minutes? Twelve and a half minutes? I'm gonna have to use the fifty-fifty. 50-50, narrow it down, please. 18 and a half or 12 and a half? I don't think you were born when this happened. No. Hope you read about it somewhere along the way. I did. And I'm leaning towards an answer, but I really don't want to guess. I don't want to guess. I want to walk You don't away. want to take a chance. I don't no. blame you. Sure, it's 64,000. And if you miss, you'll go back to 32,000. You want to just guess right now? You're walking with 64. What's your guess? D? 12 and a half. 12 and a half? No, it would have been 18 and a half. See? Good thing. Good luck, 64,000. <laughs> Good luck, Tara. Good luck to you, honey. Bye bye. <laughs> so, Tara Collins, the $64,000. To put toward medical school, and congratulations, Sarah. That's great. Now we have to fill that hot seat one more time, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these movies in order by their first theatrical release, starting with the most recent. Air Force One, All the President's Men, The Contender, Dave. Okay, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent film, The Contender, and then Air Force One, Dave, all the President's Men. That's the right order. Who got it in the fastest time? Let's take a look. The winner is Dan Rufus. Hey, Dan, congratulations. Good for you. Dan wants $2,090,000. You gotta try for it, but we come back.